This is real nice. She pretty. I love my Avenger, but there are a few things that can be improved. It sort of sounds like a nail gun. So it would be nice if you have the option to put a moderator on the end. Well, you can buy this adapter from Donnie Fell, and that will allow you to attach one. Another thing is the stock. It's kind of made out of cheap plastic, so it kind of squeaks when you hold it. So those two things are fixed in the new version of the Avenger. So they could be a reason to upgrade to the Avenger X, or if you don't have an Avenger yet, get that one instead. But I already have an Avenger, so I'm gonna fix it myself. So earlier this year, I got myself the Hudson Jet 2 because I wanted a PCP pistol. I swear, it's a pistol. Look, definitely a pistol. One thing that I liked most about the Hot Sun Jet 2 is the stock. It's adjustable and it's made out of pretty solid plastic. I think this is ABS or something. It's a lot tougher than what the Avenger comes with. So that made me think if I could make my own stock for the Avenger. So I glued some scrap pieces of wood together. Well, Maybe another day when I have a better workshop and better tools because this is not going to be it. Around that same time that I was thinking about making my own stock for the Avenger, someone commented on my Avenger video that there's a guy out there who makes custom stocks for air guns. His channel is Buckrail and so is his website. So I got some of this. I got the lower receiver. I got the buffer tube, I got the forend, and I got the adjustable Magpul buttstock. If you already have this, of course, you don't have to buy it. At first I thought, that's pretty pricey for 3D printed parts, but if you really think about it, almost half of the cost is this Magpul adjustable buttstock. So really, you know, altogether, this cost me around 140 something dollars. But if you take the price of this off, then these pieces are probably maybe 20, 25 dollars a piece. And he took the time to design it, make sure it fits, and he ships it for free. So I don't think it's a bad deal at all. So now, how do I get this onto this? It's not that difficult really. You just need a bunch of Allen keys to take apart the Avenger. There's a few screws here, here, uh, here, here, and here. And you need two to put this on and this screw that comes included. So let's get those screws out of the old stock. Oh, there you go. nice snug fit and this is something that I was going to do myself as well I love this this design how Buckrail incorporated all these valves into a magazine well so now I need this this socket because this uh, buffer tube goes with this bolt into the lower receiver That took what? 20 minutes? Disassemble and assemble? Not too bad. Look at that. You can squeeze it. But it doesn't squeak. And it's adjustable. Unlike the old one. So yeah. If you want to get the Avenger X Tactical. 
is going to be 529. I paid 349 for my Avenger and 45 for the Donny FL adapter and roughly 140 for the Buckrail stock. So I'm around the same price and I don't have to buy a whole new air gun because I already have money invested in this one. If you also have an Avenger and thinking about upgrading your stock, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to do this if you like this kind of stuff. And there should be something for you to watch next er, here or er, here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.